This guide will show you how to create a sales invoice in the full document view. First of all, go to the menu on the left hand side and select Franchise Point of Sale. You will then need to open up the shopping basket. Go to the bottom right hand side of the screen and click on Full Document View. If there is already information in the shopping basket, to create a new shopping basket, you can click in the white space around the header and press F3 on your keyboard. If you then click in the white space again, this will fill in your number and your document and shipment dates. To search for a customer, click the up arrow next to the sell to customer field. This will then provide you with a list of customers. You can search using the name by clicking in the name field and pressing Ctrl and F on your keyboard. You will then be able to search for that name. Once you've found the customer you wish to choose, select the line and click OK at the bottom of the screen. You can also search by contact by clicking the up arrow next to the sell to contact number. This will again provide you with a list which you can search in. You now can add in your items. So go to the type field and press on the down arrow and select item. You can then use the number field as a match code. So in this case, I'm going to search for the tire size 205 55 16 and then press enter on your keyboard. This will then provide you with a list of tires that you have in stock for that size. However, you can narrow this down further by putting the manufacturer's first two letters in front of the tire size. This will then provide you with a list of tires that fit the specifications. Once you're happy, select the line and click OK. This will then bring the item into your shopping basket. It will also bring the resources in that are linked to the sale of that tire. You will then be able to change the unit price and the quantity in this screen. You can also bring in resources by going to the type box and selecting resource. You will then need to click the up arrow in the number field, which will provide you with a list of resources. Click in the name field and press Ctrl and F and you can search for a resource such as service or MOT. Once you've found the resource you want to use, select the line and press OK. You will then be able to edit this price in the shopping basket. Once you're happy with your shopping basket, you can go down to sales at the bottom of the screen. Here you can choose to create a quote or an order or any of the options listed. If you would like to just invoice the shopping basket, go to create invoice and post. In this screen, you will need to choose the means of payment by pressing the up arrow. You can then select the type of payment you wish to choose and press OK at the bottom of the screen. Once you're happy, go down to posting and either choose post and print or just post. If you would like to check that your sales invoice has been posted, go to History and select Sales and then select Posted Invoices. You can then press the arrow at the top of the screen to go to the last invoice or you can search for the invoice number by clicking in the number field and pressing Ctrl and F. You have now come to the end of this guide. For more guides, please visit bit.ly slash gripsguides or call the Grips support team on 0208 328 9818.